Would you believe if I tell you that I created this picture using one spoon? Hello everyone, my name is Sunny Landa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Photoshop tutorial day and I'll be showing you on how to create this image in Photoshop if you have unlimited resources. In this picture, you will see different spoons with different herbs, but in reality, it's just one spoon that I took picture of and filled them with different herbs one at a time. And then I just put them all together into one picture in Photoshop. As what I said earlier, I only used one spoon in this image. What I did exactly was I took a picture of the spoon with an herb and then I just replaced with the herb with another one and then I repeat the process until I'm done with all the herbs that I have. Plus, I also took a picture of the background, an empty background without the spoon because we are going to use this background as a base layer in our Photoshop. The next step is we are going to open the blank background in Photoshop. In this case, if you can see, I already opened the blank background. Um, we will just have to duplicate the first layer as always. Next is we are going to open all the spoon that we took picture of one by one. Um, in this case, I'll just open the first the three so we, it, will, it will save time. Um, I'll open the first of the, the three images. Uh, let's just right click and press open. Once you did that, you will see it right here. All of them are open. Just select first the first one and since we shoot in RAW, you can always make adjustments when it comes to your exposure, brightness, and co contrast. Well, it depends on your taste, do the necessary adjustments. Uh, for now, let's just do it like this. This is just a random, random adjustment. You don't have to do the same thing. Just make the adjustment based on your taste. Now, once I'm done adjusting, the first layer, what I do next is select all of them by pressing Command A and then go right here and then sync settings. What will this do? And then click, click on OK. What will this do? The adjustment you made in the first layer will be applied to the rest of them. Now, once it's done, if you can see here, all of them have the same adjustments. Uh, still, again, all of them should be selected and open images. Once, it's, once you've done that, this will go this will open straight to Photoshop. Now that the three images are open in Photoshop, the next step is we are going to select them out and move them to the background layer that we just opened. To do that, there are two ways of selecting out a certain subject in Photoshop that I know. The first one is the pen tool and the second one is the select subject. Um, let's first work on the pen tool. Um, first, let's work on the pepper. Uh, I mean I mean the peppercorn duplicate the layer and then just press P for the pen tool. Um, next is we are going to select out or, or trace out the peppercorn together with a spoon. Um, if you've been watching my YouTube videos, you can see, you will see on how detailed I always recommend for all of you to trace out a certain subject. But in this particular um, video, I am going to do this in a very fast way so we can save time. But if you want to practice, um, you can always work uh, trace this out in a very detailed way so it will look really good in your final image. But for now, I'll just fast forward this and see you in a few seconds. Okay, now that we have selected out uh, the, the image, just right click and make selection. Press enter. The next step is press command J so we can separate this from this layer. Command J or Control J. Now, if you can see here, it's been selected out, separated out from the first on layer one. Next is we are going to drag this in the blank background, like this. Now, if you can see, now you can move this anywhere you want because we only selected this particular subject. Let's now go to the second image, which is the cinnamon. Again, duplicate. Now, this other way of selecting out a subject is a faster way and this is only available in the recent or the latest Photoshop version. Um, if this is called the select subject. If this if this option or if this feature is not available in the um, Photoshop version that you are using, you can always use the pen tool. Now just click on the magic wand tool and select subject. 
What does this do? The Photoshop will select out the subject for you. This will only work in a very precise way if you have a plain background and as your subject will stand out from the background just like this. Now if you can see, it's being selected out for you by Photoshop. Next, Command J again to separate it and then, and then just drag that to your background image. Now if you can see here, we, have, we already have two spoons. The third one, we will do it again, the same, the same process select subject and then once it's done you will press command j and then move this to the background image now that the three subjects are already in our blank background we can now work on this three spoons and make them look different but for now let's just rename all these layers by whatever herbs in the, is in the spoon like this one let's rename this as peppercorn this one, layer 3, let's rename this as cinnamon. cinnamon. And then the third layer, I mean the layer 4, let's rename this as basil. Let's first work on peppercorn. Um, I want the peppercorn spoon to be bigger or bloated. To do that, let's go to filter and then liquefy. Make sure the peppercorn layer is selected. And then once you click on liquefy, only the peppercorn layer will be shown in the liquify window now from here click on the bloat tool right here and make sure that your cursor is big enough you can make it small and big make sure that it's big enough to cover the spoon and then just click on it until you will notice that it's getting bigger or getting bloated just click it like in until it reaches the size that looks good for you and make sure that it will look as natural as possible because if it look it will look like this it doesn't look natural and it's really that doesn't look good in your final image just make it like this and click okay now if you can see the image is already bloated or bigger than the other two spoon now let's work on basil like in the basil we are what we're going to do is we are going to make the tip of this spoon a bit pointed again let's go to filter and then go to liquify from here we are going to we are going to use the forward warp tool. Um, you have to make your cursor a bit smaller because we are we only need the tip to make it pointed. So from here, just drag it all the way up, click and drag, make the your mouse smaller, pointer smaller, click and drag up, and then click and drag up, and then make your pointer as smaller as it goes. I think, and then also make it as natural as possible because you don't want it to be very obvious in the end this will look stretched if you will not if you will be, if you'll be not careful of adjusting this i think this is okay and then click okay here now if you can see now the, the basil spoon is pointed peppercorn is loaded and we are keeping the cinnamon as it is next we can now adjust or move all the spoons to wherever position we want them to go let's say for example uh, the basil Let's put the base, basil down here. Let's put the cinnamon down up here. And let's put the pepper, peppercorn up here. Something like this. Now, if you are working on more, more herbs, of course, you can put them all in one blank layer. Like in the image that I just created in my intro, which is this one, put them all together in one layer. I, you can also add a sprinkle of the cinnamon or or the spice i mean the, the chilies you can add more as as more as you can it will look good just make sure that they are even and they will look as natural as possible and that's it it's that simple you can now apply this photoshop technique to any of your images especially if you're doing product photography or food photography I hope you learned something in my video today and please do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet. I hope to see you in my next video and be safe.